Hey you guys, Dino Gomez here, and in this video today we are going to tackle how to keep your Facebook ad account safe and keep your Facebook ad account from being shut down. It's all coming up in this week's episode of Dynamic 365. Hey guys, Dino Gomez here and in this training today we are going to be walking you through how to protect your Facebook ad account so that it doesn't get shut down. Now I want to preface by saying, well we, we also have a really cool PDF for you guys to download beneath this video that's going to give you all these cool tips and tricks to keep your ad account safe but then also to improve your ad relevancy scores so that you get leads cheaper and so that you get uh, a lower cost per 1000 impressions. Alright, so we're going to go through all that cool stuff. But first I want to preface by saying guys, working with local clients, it's actually very rare that your ad account would ever get shut down or that an ad is like disapproved. It normally happens like in the e-commerce space or when you're running ads to market an online program or you're doing something else. Um, but in the local space, you're normally pretty good. But with that said, I still want to show you guys uh, just some basic rules and kind of re refresh uh, a refresher here on what Facebook wants you to do and what you shouldn't do. So the biggest reason an ad would just be disapproved, right? And that's not really not a big deal if it's disapproved. You can just relaunch it, right? It's not like your ad account has gotten shut down. But the main reason ad accounts, um, an ad is disapproved is because of this. People use the word you, okay? Facebook does not like the word you. They don't like you or your, okay? And the reason is because when, some, when you use the word you, normally that's the word that comes before some type of guarantee or promise. Like you will lose weight you will make money, you will run faster. Like those are all bold claims and like guarantees almost. And so by avoiding the word you, like you is literally in Facebook's algorithm. And a lot of times, especially if you have a new ad account for a local client, they will just disapprove that ad because you, you're using the word you. All right, and so if we're working with, let's just pretend this ad is for a local dentist, rather than saying, hey, do you want a nicer smile? you know all those use the word you so Facebook doesn't like that right and so instead of saying you we would just say this guys want a dazzling smile question mark brighter teeth question mark a second opinion or a quote on a root canal or other procedure right we never use the word you we don't say do you want a dazzling smile we just say hey want a dazzling smile right and so that is the way to circumvent using the word you you just simply change your the structure of your sentences around and you get rid of the word you. All right, so that's very, very, very easy to do, and that's a tip that will help you so that your ads always get approved. Other things to watch out for, guys. Make sure you always have a privacy policy on your landing page. That's a simple one. Um, make sure there's no videos that autoplay on your landing page, and uh, also use images and verbiage of, of things that are happy, okay, so people smiling. All right, Facebook has image recognition software. Think about this. Every time you upload an image to Facebook, Right, it asks you, do you want to tag your friends in this post? It can, ha it has facial recognition, so it knows when you upload a photo for an ad. It knows if people, if there's people in there. It knows if they're male or female. It knows if they're smiling. It knows all these things, right? And so, uh, it's re it, it helps with the algorithm. Facebook wants to, people to be happy when they're on their on their platform when they're on their network. So, using images of people smiling, right? That that is a happy emotion. Using positive verbiage in your ad copy. Right, words like happy and laugh and smile and things like that. Those also improve your your ad relevance scores. Facebook likes that. It like negative words in your ad copy. Okay, so those are just very very simple awesome hacks that you probably didn't know. Is that Facebook is literally its algorithm is that smart. Now beneath this video, guys, again you can download this free uh, PDF that I put together and it has a list of all the trigger words that will basically that oftentimes will automatically make your ad get disapproved all right so there are different trigger words like you and yours guaranteed weight loss make money politics you're not supposed to use the actual word facebook fb or instagram and and so these are trigger words to to actually avoid in your ad copy all right um you will see some of the big online marketers using the word you a lot and they get away with it because they're spending so much money and they have an ad account rep who's kind of like whitelisted their account for local clients, guys, just avoid that, and you'll you'll be 100% good to go. All right. Other things to avoid, you know, mentioning people's personal attributes, making any type of bold claims, showing money in the ads and, and videos. You wouldn't necessarily be doing that for local clients, but Facebook doesn't like you having a stack of cash or playing around with money and the thing that's kind of suggesting uh, you're going to make a lot of money. Uh, you don't show images that are zoomed into a particular body part. So again, if you're working with a dentist, don't just show somebody's teeth up close and personal, don't show somebody's arm or leg or stomach or whatever, right? Uh, it needs to be kind of like a full picture of an individual. 
Uh, of course, no before and after photos if you're working in the fitness or, or fitness niche. Uh, Facebook does not allow before and after photos in the fitness niche. You can do before and after photos just about anything else, right? You can do before and after photo of like if you're working with a painter, here's what a house looks like that hasn't been painted in a long time, and here's what it looks like when it has a fresh coat of new paint on there. Look at how much better that is. You can use before and after photos for just about any other niche. All right, so other, other workarounds, guys. Uh, change how to to how I. Always speak in the first person. Here's how I made $10,000 online. Here's how I got into the best shape of my life. Here's how I bring local businesses more customers rather than here's how you can. Uh, right? We want to avoid that word you, so just replace that with the word I. You can also speak in the third person, right? Here is how Sally grew uh, her dentist business, right? First, she hired us to do her online advertising, yada, yada, yada. You can say, here's how Sally, here's how somebody else did it, but never say, here's how you can do it, right? Now, if your ad gets approved, disapproved, guys, there's a couple things you want to do. Make sure you have a privacy policy on your landing page. Make sure there's no auto pop-ups in your landing page. All right, it's, a, it's okay if people click a button and then there's a pop-up to capture their information, but there should not just be an auto pop-up. Uh, those are annoying. Facebook doesn't like those either. Make sure that if you have a video on your landing page that it does not auto play. People need to have, have to click the play button to decide they want to watch the video. And so if your ad does get disapproved and you think it, it is compliant, then what you can do is you can request a, a manual review of that ad. And, and so this means an actual ad account rep will, will manually look at it. Okay, so when you're working with local clients and an ad is disapproved, again, rarely happens, but if it does, um, it's, it's normally just their algorithm was triver, triggered some way, shape, or form. And, and so what we can do is um, uh, we can just ask for a manual review if, if you did everything correctly. Uh, when you're speaking to an ad account rep, guys, just be very, very friendly. Like it, it may be frustrating to you that your ad was disapproved, but there are human beings, so just say please, thank you, um, and, and there's a bunch of other tips here for you as well. And at the bottom of this PDF, guys, then we have seven awesome free trainings for you guys to check out. All right, so make sure you download that PDF. Uh, what you can do is you can click on File, and then you can click on Make a Copy, and you can literally copy this PDF, and you can save it to your Google Drive, or you can download it directly, save it on your desktop. But make sure you guys check out those other uh, awesome trainings here. They are free, and they are awesome. And, um, and guys... Uh, after you watch those free trainings and so forth like that, we are uh, over 300 reviews now at Funnel Consultant Society. And we're constantly updating the program, releasing new training. We just released a new dental campaign last week. And we, we gave our client, our, our members the, the ad copy and the offer and the funnel. And we showed them the actual ads we ran and everything so they can just plug that in for their clients. Um, but we are consistently growing, adding new members. And over 300 reviews now, it's just insane. There you have it guys, a free training on how to keep your Facebook ad account safe and healthy so that it performs better and you're able to always consistently run ads. I hope this training was helpful. Don't forget to download the free PDF below that has all the tips and tricks to keeping your ad account safe, to, which trigger words to avoid, and otherwise your, your best practices to make sure your ad account remains extra healthy and performing at its highest potential level. All right, so that's it for this training, guys. We heard it. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, download the cheat sheet below. We will see you in the next video.